Super Turbo Championship Edition. Welcome everyone to Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition. So a little bit about this game. Guacamelee first came out in the year of 2013, just titled Guacamelee. Um, but over the years, they eventually decided to make additional content for this game, and that eventually led to the Super Turbo Championship Edition version of it. And this one was actually released alongside the sequel, Guacamelee 2, which was released in 2017. But these two were released together in a physical version in, uh, for the Nintendo Switch about two years ago or so. So it's kind of interesting that, you know, now they're both finally released physically on the Switch about two years ago. So I will be playing through this game, and I obviously will also be playing through Guacamelee 2, if you are wondering already. I don't think it'll be a let's play right after this one. I might take a break from Guacamelee, but yeah, I've just been into Metroidvania games. This game is another Metroidvania title, um, with of course, you know, uh, Mexican folklore and culture uh, implemented into this game, which is really fantastic, especially for someone like me who, uh, you know, is of Mexican descent. So, anyway... Let's go to options here. Uh, music, 10, 10, rumble, no. That's all fine. Achievements, we got some achievements here. Um, whatever, I don't need to show that. And then we got extras as well. I'm not going to talk about these things right now. That might just be something like post-game bonus video or something like that if you uh, want me to cover that. We're going to go to start. And we're going to go, um, we're going to go here into empty this file because we're going to start this. Achievement, next gen. Juan. Are you home? Juan? Juan, wake up, Juan. Jump is the B button. Alright, so it wants us to kind of just go, so let's do this. So as you can see, it's a very fast-paced Metroidvania type of game, which, I don't know, it's kind of interesting, because, you know, some Metroidvania games are really slow, like Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night, and others are very fast, like this one. You're finally awake. Noon is upon us. The sun's at its zenith. No time to sleep the day away. The Dia de los Muertos festival is nigh. Take some time to compose yourself. I could use your strong arms at the church once you brush your teeth. What? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, you know move around here finally. So if you break barrels, you can actually do some or get some uh, money. Money is gonna be very important in this game to get some much-needed upgrades. I will just tell you that right now. And we just have to run to the left. On the top left corner of the screen, you do see a little red uh, bar. That's actually your health. That is our entire health meter. It's very small right now, but there are ways to improve your maximum health, and I will be covering that as we go, of course. All right, so I'm just gonna go straight all the way through because right now we don't have anything, like no abilities and stuff, so it doesn't really make any sense to go exploring at the moment. I'm just gonna progress the story here a little bit. Hola, Juan, thanks for coming to help. I'm trying to clear out some space in here. We're expecting people to come from all over the festival. For the festival, sorry. Even El Presidente's daughter has returned from La Universidad de Santa Luchita. Enough gossip. Could you bust up those empty wine barrels over in the corner? Sure. Bam! What strains, and you had it in you. El Presidente's daughter always said she saw your potential as well. Such a nice girl, and I'm so glad that El, Ambas El Ambassador's son is out of the picture. Him and El Cabinet, Minister's wife. What a scandal. Wow. Hablando del Rey de Roma. Look who appears. Hello, Frey. I... Juan. Frey asked me to stop by today. I didn't ask we could be here. Juan, you look so... Remember when we were kids? We used to get into so much trouble together. Wow, that feels like so long ago now. You've really grown up. Anyway, Frey, I found those chairs you were asking about. I'll bring them over later. Juan, could you come by the mansion to help me carry them? I'd really love to spend some time with you. If you want, maybe we could even go to the festival together. Whoa. I should go. Hope to see you later, Juan. Damn. Making those moves. Hey, Juan. Didn't you worry what you said? Now's your chance. This is better than watching my telenovelas. Oh my god. Whoa, how many times do I have to tell these kids not to play with fireworks? What was I saying? Yes, El Presidente's daughter. You should really go see her. Sounds great. I definitely will go see her. Um, so we need to go, yeah, if you press minus, the map actually is available. The map is actually pretty good in detail because it does show typically, uh, secret passageways, or not secret, but blocked passageways that you need certain abilities to go through. I'll talk more about that later, but, oh my god. Ay Dios mío, el presidente's mansion is on fire. Do something, Juan. I guess I'll just run over there, sure. Let's check this out. El, la mansión del presidente. 
Alright, we're just gonna run straight all the way through. Oh, so someone is trying to play hero. You're far from the fields, I gave boy. This is no place for you. One, run now before this ugly skeleton gets you too. Wait, what? Oh, oh, it was you. My bad. What do we have here? I sure wouldn't mind melting those eyes off your skull. Gran Calaca. It would be my pleasure to get rid of this intruder. Leave this one to me, flame face. I could use a bit of action today. Silencio. If Jaguar Javier were here, he could be trusted to handle this. Unfortunately, he's occupied. I'll get rid of this puny Himadon myself. The living world may have chosen to forget me once, but I won't give them a choice this time. I'm Carlos Galaca, ruler of the dead world, and you, you're only a luchador. Prepare to die. Versus Carlos Galaca. Here we go. The first boss. Just kidding. We actually just die right away. Juan, no! Hey guys, what I miss? <laughs> what? Okay. Let's see where I am. Hmm. Under here somewhere, it still says I'm in the mansion, La Mansión del Presidente. Alright. Well, we gotta, we gotta, gotta, I mean, we're in the same place. We just, they just left us there. I don't know. They didn't take her body or anything. I guess they thought we died or something. I have no idea. Oh, can I, can I break that? I can't. Alright, so what do we have to do here? What's our, what's our goal? I think we just gotta run back. Let's run, run, run. The heck? Greetings, Juan. I am Tostada, Guardian of the Mask. How interesting that the mask has revealed itself to you. Galaka has thrown the universe out of order. You must have some role to play. If you put this mask on, Juan, its power will bring you back to the world of the living. Are you ready? Uh, sure, I guess. Putting this mask on. And I get some amazing powers with this. This is why they don't want to do anything prior to this, because I wanted to actually explore around here. There we go. Oh, we look amazing, don't we? All buff and everything. Luchador, over here. The town is under attack by evil skeletons. They have locked everybody in the church and they fear they intend to burn it to the ground. Please save us. Before you go, though, a tip. If you ever want to check your current objective, hit minus. Now, please go save the town. I'll keep pretending to be a barrel. A second player may join out. We're not going to do that. But yes, you can play with two players um, in this game, which is actually kind of a neat concept because most Metroidvania games don't actually allow that. They're completely single player. So it is a unique thing. Okay, so here we got some... Uh some more uh, skeletons here. I'll save you. Okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, here we go. So basically, just to tie with um, why uh, we aren't safe yet. Okay. Water closet. We're scared. Okay. Here we go. We gotta do this. Oh, shoot. There's more. Okay. So I haven't really talked too much about the different things. But if you actually press... Um, it was saying if you press X after they've been weakened enough, you can grab and point and then throw them somewhere. Which does some damage. That's pretty neat. Okay, don't let it hit you, Luchador. Uh-huh. So you basically press a ZL to dodge attacks. And then this is a faster one, but it's actually still pretty simple. You stay today. Alright, sounds great. Let's go save him. I can't thank you enough for what you've done here today, Luchador. Still, I worry for the safety of El Presidente and his family. Look for clues in Santa Luchita. I think some of the evil esqueletos were headed that way. Godspeed, Luchador. The world is in need of your help. Sounds great. Sounds great. We, we shall do that. Let's get out of here. Okay, so now... I think some side quests are going to be available. These exclamation marks are actually side quests. Um, so you just simply talk to them. Small problem. Over with chickens. Uh -huh. I'm not really going to read all the text and all these NPCs. If it's not story related, main story related, I'm not going to do that. Basically, he wants us to put all of the um, chickens in that cage thing over there. Okay. That's it for those and these over here. Uh, I need you to get up there. You can also, uh, you can throw up if you really wanted to, that you can. Um, or like hit up, sorry, not throw up. There we go. That's how you get them up. And we gotta, we gotta chase them. Nope, get, get over there. Okay, and then they just 
I'll go there. And is that it? Oh no, there's one more over here. You! Get over here! That's it. And then when you do that, usually like your character does like a little pose, like, oh yeah, I did it. Alright, let's go claim our reward now. Gracias, señor. Of course, of course. Alright, let's see what we get. Oh yes, we get a, it's a, basically a piece of heart. Think of it like a piece of heart in Zelda. That's how I like to think of things. Uh, now we're gonna explore all these uh, buildings and stuff here. Uh, just to see if there actually is anything worth getting here. There's a little path of passageway down there, but we can't do anything there quite yet. Um, I actually don't think we can do all that much yet. Um, because like over there on the left, I mean, yeah, that's, there's that, but can't really do all that much. We can break some barrels, you know, but it's not going to do all that much. And there's people here. That building is not opened. This one's opened. I don't know if there's going to be something in here. The answer is no, there's nothing in here. Again, all these NPCs, I'm not going to talk to them unless they're uh, main, or sorry, uh, side quest related, of course. And I will talk to them and complete their quest, but if they're not like that, then there's no point to actually you not know, do anything related to that. So what's over here? I gave field. Okay, so over here, this is an optional location. I actually don't think we can do anything here yet, though. But it's cool that I guess I'm showing this off right now. There's a building. Um, is there anything more to the right? No, there's not. Okay, Casa de Juan. So this is where I where I was, but I think there's. No, you know what? I think I'm actually tripping. Never mind. I thought there was something else that was going to be unlocked here at the moment, but no. There is a passageway over there though, but we can't um, do much with that quite yet. So we're just going to say, screw it, screw it, uh, yeah, okay. So do you see how there was a purple block there and the map is showing purple block. That way when we get an ability that can break purple blocks and a sneak peek, that's going to be one of the last abilities that we get more than likely. Um, but once we get that, we can then look at the map and be like, oh, that's where we have to go to, you know, go through there and possibly get an item, you know, so, yeah. Alright. So, we're gonna leave now. Oh, I can't break that barrel. We're gonna go to the next, uh, section. Okay, you. This, these are actually shops. Uh, this is why you want a lot of money, because these things cost a lot of money. Basically giving you, oh, they're called heart chunks. Um, giving you, a uh, Health regeneration boost, cool. Lots of lots of great stuff here, improving your abilities. Very expensive though, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but the other neat thing about them is every time you pass through them, you get a full heal and you get a save as well. You don't have to talk to the guy, you just have to pass through it and it will work automatically, which is really neat, honestly. Forest Dead Cheeple, okay. So obviously we got to go through here. I recommend killing as many enemies in your path, especially if they're weak, because you do get money from that and you want money. Later in the game, if they're stronger enemies, goddammit, the red ones actually throw shit at you. You gotta be careful. Oh my god, did I just attack the wrong way like an idiot? I actually totally did. You've gotta be kidding me. I don't know how I just pulled that massive fail. But yeah, later on, um, it's kind of up to you if you want to do that. Um, defeat enemies, sometimes it's not worth it, especially if they're tougher ones that um, take a lot of hits, you know? So, I don't know, it's kind of up to you. You can also do your combos in the air. And a lot of the time when you're facing enemies alone, there's no need to actually throw them because in the end you're doing less damage per second than if you just, uh, you know, attack them normally through your combo attacks and whatever. Okay, so now there's this guy. These guys are a little tougher, but... You do want to abuse the roll sometimes, you know, especially against crazy enemies like that. That are a little more complicated. Stop right there, Luchador. Orders of Carlos Calaca. I warn you, take one more step and it will be your demise. Alright, um, sure. You seem like an honorable Luchador, so I will answer your question. My name is Jaguar Javier. I was once human like you. In my youth, I live and train in these very woods. I became a mythical warrior, serving noble kings and leading great armies to victory. But that was a long time ago. Now I serve Calaca. The final days of Earth are upon us. I suggest you return home and spend them with your love, with the ones you love. So stubborn, what the heck? Pains me to so unceremoniously dispatch a warrior such as yourself, but you didn't say they didn't warn you. Can't say. I don't know. Oh my god, I don't know why I read that wrong. And I fell all the way through. Oh, wonderful. We love that. Alright, so there's a left and a right here. 
Um, I think I'm gonna start by going to the left over here. I believe there's actually a chest. So every single section of the game in the top right corner, the percent, it says zero percent. That's your percentage of items in that particular map. So every single time you get a chest, such as this one, which is another hard piece, it'll go up six percent. It also kind of gives you a little bit of a, of a, wait, can I go keep going? Gives you a little bit of a sneak peek in terms of how many items are actually in that location. Uh, we can't go that way. Got it. Okay. Totally blocked off. So the fact that it's 6% means that there's actually quite a lot of items in this one. Like, quite a lot. Alright, so now we can just go through. Okay, to the other side. Yeah, see? Save and a full heal. I'm not going to be spending anything on the shop for quite a while, I'll just tell you right now. Oh, I can't go that way? Looks like I can. Never mind. Okay, so down in B, and it actually tells you down the right side to drop through. That's a very common, uh, you know, feature in 2D platformers. Just hold down in B to drop through platforms. Hold B for a long jump. Another save point there. Nice. And then B for a little hop. Who are you? Hey, dude, you ZL or to roll through spikes. Yeah, your dodge also works on actual, like, spikes. You can dodge through them, which is actually pretty neat. You can also do an aerial. See? And dodge through them like that. As long as you're pressing the dodge button, you'll be fine and moving forward, of course. Alright, so not, nothing much we can do here. Just progressing forward. As you can see, it's pretty simple stuff. No enemies here, too. Okay, I think there's some enemies. But yeah, a lot of the time in this game, you'll get taken into these uh, rooms that have no escape, and you have to kill all the enemies to be able to progress. So, okay. I mean, not much we can do except fight them, right? Luckily, here in the beginning, all these things are actually pretty simple. Like, even though it's kind of a lot sometimes... Oh, god damn it, I let him hit me there. Let's kill the red ones, or at least one of the red ones, because sometimes they're freaking annoying. And this should be it right here for these, for this section here. Yep, and then you get a piñata. Usually in sections like that, which basically just has free money and stuff like that. So that's neat. Lots of jumping here. Okay. Alright, so here there's only one way to go. The pathway on the left side is actually, you know, blocked off. Blocked off there too. Blocked off there. Lots of red stuff. Hmm. wonder what's happening. Oh, look at that. A Chozo statue. <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, this game obviously was not inspired by Metroid. It was such a coincidence. You crazy, Luchado. Why you gotta go and break my Chuzu statue? <laughs> or Chuzo statue? Ay caramba, man. I've only got like 15 of those things left. Typical Luchado. Punch first and ask questions never. Behold, I am the great Waichibo. Lord of all mango, to warrior, trainer, extraordinaire, and king of awkward punishments. Now before we begin, tell me. Is your mother single? Does she have a type? What? Is she like that? What the freaking hell is wrong with this guy? Oh my god. Especially how you got that mask. Okay, so I explained off screen. Galaka, the temple, El Presidente's daughter, and Jaguar Javier, my former student. I'll just have to ask your mother out after we save the world. First, we must train you in the art of a true luchador. The statue just broke contain a magical power, the rooster uppercut. Uh, left stick and up to perform this powerful move. Uh -huh. It can break red blocks and it can even be performed in the air. But be careful, if you use it too much, you'll tire yourself out for a while. It doesn't work. Or you work on that move, kiddo. If it doesn't kill you... Uh, okay, got it, got it. Alright. Rooster Uppercut, the first ability of the game. So, now you see two yellow squares up in the top left corner. What does that mean? I don't know, I'm just kidding. Uh, that's your stamina. Every time you use a move like the Uppercut, you will actually consume a stamina point, and over time it re replenishes. There's abilities, or there's things you can actually spend money on, um, you know, to improve that regeneration rate. So that's that's pretty neat. There we go. See, little shortcut back. There's also a blue thing up there, but we can't do much with the blue ones right now. So, yep, we just gotta pass through it. Another red one there. I'm looking at the map to see if we missed any red ones. There's one over there, but we can't get over there. So, that's fine. Um, I think we'll go. We'll go left here. There might be a chest on this side. Or just a bunch of barrels. Seems like it's just a bunch of barrels. Okay, that's that's cool, I suppose. 
I mean, I like money, you know? Gotta get that money. Okay. So... Gonna do that. Alright, so here's a new thing of, that you gotta use to combine your skills. We're gonna roll. And then that. There we go, see? Pretty nice. Jump, and then do that. You just gotta be smart and strategic with these moves, all, all the maneuvers you can do. You can actually get pretty creative in this game, especially once you learn more abilities, which we are going to be learning more and more as we keep going through, and you'll see. You'll see. To, uh, to knock standing enemies in the air for a while. Got it. Left stick and A, huh? Well, I don't need to do that right now. There we go, I wanted to show it off. Now here I do actually have to do this. That's the only way you can possibly reach these. There we go. Easy enough. Break the piñata, get some money, and keep on going. Alright, so... Oh, I totally just missed this guy. I don't know how I did that. God dang it. Alright. Like, I mean, I don't really need to kill this guy because, you know, it's not a required section, but... Oh, no. Okay, we're gonna do that. Go to the right. Another save point there. Nice. And heal. Use ZL or whatever to dodge. Yeah, cool. Why are we attacking the wrong way? Oh my god. There we go. Alright. Now we're gonna get introduced, I believe, to... We're gonna have to use the, the throw here. See? If you use the throw, the guy will go flying across and hit other enemies on the way. So the throw is useful in situations where there's actually a lot of enemies. Because you get to do a lot of damage to enemies, you know, like in a row. Alright, so we are actually out of this place, going on to the next section. Into Santa Luchita. What the heck? Skeleton just came running through town carrying some girl. The hell? Took her to the top? Okay. This is Los Muertos. The dead have truly risen. I'm going to hide in the forest. It's safe there, right? Uh, yeah, definitely. There's no skeletons over there. I'm kind of being sarcastic, but also not because I did just kill them all. So, you know? Follow Kalak and his minions to the Temple of Rain. Got it. Okay. So there's a lot of buildings here. Uh, once again, I'm not sure which ones I really need, should be uh, going into. Okay, I don't, I don't need to go into that one. Viva Piñatas. Free money, I'll take it, of course. Forest that way, yeah, I know, I know. Alright, any any quests in here? There's actually a lot of quests in here, but, um... Oh, it's over here. Oh, this, yeah. There's a lot of quests in there, but, um... We're not gonna be able to do, like, any of those. This is Caverna del Pollo, another optional location. Um, we can't even get too far in here. I'll just show you a little bit. Yeah, no, yeah we can't. Okay, it's blocked off. Totally blocked off. We'll be going there uh, much later in the game. Let's get out of here. Alright, so the only way to go is going to be up. Because... Wait, did we go here? Oh, we can't go there either. It's a blue block. Okay. Oh, shoot. Gotta go like this to the right. Actually, there's nothing there either. What the hell am I doing? Just go up the damn stairs, seriously. Alright, let's break that for some money. I just killed a freaking chicken or whatever. Alright, there's actually a chest over here. We're gonna hit that and I just killed another chicken. Wonderful. This is actually... Um, that's gonna up my stamina if you get three pieces. So the other one is health. Literally a heart piece. Piece of heart. But that's like a stamina piece, if you want to call it that. Um, anything over here? There's a secret there. A little password there, but we can't access that yet. Uh, we will just... Okay, here's a quest. Compañero de banda is missing. Okay, we can't do much with that right now, to be honest. Sorry. We can't. We just can't. Okay, and then over here. Cannot go over there either. That's blocked off. As you can see, a lot of places that are blocked off. Another quest up there. We'll hit that for some money. Pardon me, but we cannot play any music for you until... Okay. Got it, got it. And then that's gonna... That's where I actually have to go. Where do you think you're going? 
Trying to get yourself killed? The Green Noble Handsome Benevolent, Wise, Irresistible, Snake Sling, Combo Chicken. He's back in the town. He can show you the skills you need to enter the temple. Find Combo Chicken in Santa Lucita. Sure. You. I am desperate. My kitchen is bare. I don't have all the ingredients to make my specialty like gran enchilada. Please, senor, if you find some cheese, bring it to me. If you find the beans, bring them to me. How will we find the perfect chili? The tortillas are the last ingredient I need, I promise. Okay, so yeah, she wants four ingredients. You can actually get a lot of these right now. You can get three out of the four, I believe, like pretty much right now. Here's beans. Yeah, so she has the beans. You got the beans, nice. Um, I'll just keep talking to people here, okay, until they give me the thing that I need. There we go. Tortillas. Got the tortillas. Cool. Um, I know there's one more. It might be down, though. There's you. Arbanda. Okay, so those are all the same. It's the band, you know? I don't think these give me anything. Esqueletos, kidnappings, fighting chicken, no, nothing there. Hernandos is closed. What are you looking at? Okay, I don't really need to talk to all these people. They're not gonna... No, I know, I know where it is. It's gonna be down at the bottom. Um, over here is another quest. Amateur treasure hunter, I'll let you know if I find anything. Got it. Okay, definitely nothing over there. What we're gonna do is just go down. Because there's someone here. There we go. Cheese. Sure, take it. Fresh cheese. So I got three. But that's all I can do for the quest right now. That The final ingredient, I'm not gonna be able to get it right now. It's gonna be much later in the game. Okay. And then the, this the Banda quest I can't do. The Treasure Hunter quest I can't do. Um... To think of what else. Oh, there's a chest here. Heart piece, nice. Or heart chunk. So our health improved a little bit. If you didn't uh, catch that, rewind it a little bit and you'll see. Another quest here. My brother has a nasty habit of getting stuck in impossible situations. Okay, so your brother. Another quest that we cannot do right now either. <laughs> we just can't do a lot of these, you know. Safe one up here. But we're finding the chicken place. Where the hell's the chicken place? on the right okay right here combo chickens gym i'm the great combo chicken welcome to my dojo if you expect to take on the galaka and the forces people you have much you have much to learn okay basic three hit combo poncho all right what the hell what paid once the demonstration is over go for it all right so it's gonna show us uh, it's like a tutorial kind of thing Alright, three combo, done. This is like Street Fighter, you know? You know those tutorials, or not tutorial, but like trials in Street Fighter? Gotta do all the combos and stuff. Yeah, crazy, crazy. Okay. There we go. Jump in the B. Pressing L over front of Luchador Lift. Okay, so we're gonna do... Yep, there we go. Pressing L will perform Rooster Uppercut. Similar thing. Now combine the Luchador Lift and the Uppercut in one devastating combo. Did you see that? Nice. Excellent, that wasn't that easy. Burst flying around the room. Alright, I think I get money for that. Talk about a drama queen. Uh-huh. Alright, so now I can progress. What do I get? Oh, nothing? But I will talk to you again. Would you like to continue your training? Yes. Okay, so with this we get additional rewards. We're gonna do up. There we go. And then we have... Whoops. Oh, shoot. I did that wrong. Okay, let's start over. We're gonna do... Oh, are you trying to go back to the middle? The QR, okay. Damn it! It's up and A. What am I doing? Oh, no, I pressed it. I totally pressed it. There we go. Okay, then we got YYY, then we got ZL, and then, okay. Oh, I see, I see, okay. I'm gonna do that. ZL, and then... Whoops! 
Simple enough. There we go, I get some money. Anything else? Alright. He will keep um, having more quests to do when you unlock more abilities. So, um, we... I mean, that second was for the uppercut, the rooster uppercut, but there are no more abilities we have at the moment, so that's all we can do. But we are going to go to the left. Um, what's up here? Sierra. Okay, we can't go up there. Not for a long time. That's why, little chicken, I'm just an animate object. What the heck? Oh, God. Careful, chicken. Oh my god, you almost ate the chicken. Scared him off. What are you looking at? Wow. Uh-huh. Spread across the world. If you find any of them, they can teleport you back to me. Yeah, this is basically the game's fast travel system. Um, but you can't fast travel with only one, so we gotta find other ones around the world. Once you unlock more and more, you get to fast travel to those different locations. Fast travel is very important. It's a very important feature in Metroidvania games because it reduces the monotony of, you know, all this garbage fast, uh, or backtracking sometimes. Not that backtracking is bad, it's not, but sometimes it can be if it's incredibly long and dull. Hold up. Yes, I'm going to the temple. What, what do you think, dude? What do you think? Uh-huh. Well, too bad I'm going. Alright, so we cannot go that way. Alright, here's a warp thing. Uh, but we're gonna go back and claim a chest. Basically, we get taken to the dead world. It's like the live world and the dead world. These little, uh, I don't know, they're like rift things. They actually will change the world. Kind of like, you know, just think of like Zelda, like, you know, the dark world and the, the light world, you know, like stuff like that. It's the same world, usually a couple differences. Um, and that will be needed uh, in this dungeon, actually, and also later in the game, too, so... Yeah, that's cool. All right, so we are actually almost out of time. I'm gonna keep these videos around 30 minutes like usual, so just a little heads up, you know. Okay, got you. And we'll just uh, keep running. Oh, look. Oh my, what do we have here? Okay. Seems like he skipped it on the best parts. <laughs> Luchero, loosen up. I suppose you're looking for Kalika. He's off with Flameface and that girl preparing for his ceremony. Maybe instead of chasing after them, you and I could have a bit of fun? What the hell? Bam. Hmm, no effect. <laughs> well, if we meet again, maybe it'll be worth my attention. But right now, Kalika's pet Ali Alibrije calls to me. He is lonely and I needed some... Seriously. Heavy. Petting. <laughs> this woman is freaking creepy as hell. We have a guest. Please make him comfortable. Alright. What do we got here? Ooh, look at this. We got some enemies. We got some enemies. New enemies. These are actually really pathetically easy. Like, they actually die with just one combo of three hits. So they have even less health than the garbage green skeletons, you know? Oh, there's a lot here, though. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, no. Whatever will I do? There, I'll just throw one at you. Still, it was still really easy, though. Get over here. You're dead. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Right, let's keep going. Let's find a save point. Now, do I want to go back? Not really, right? I don't think I need anything back there now. There's no way I need anything. Now that we're in the light world. Okay, lots of warps here. Uh, it could get a little confusing, but I mean, well, actually, for the most part, it's pretty simple right now. There's only one way to go everywhere, so... Okay, now here it might get a little more crazy. There's a chest over there. I kind of want that, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, okay, we have to do... How did I do this? Oh, shit. Oh, there we go, there we go. There we go. Hit that. Nice. It's a stamina chunk. Alright. Okay, let's go. Yeah, see, it's a pretty nice mechanic, I would say. I mean, I like this. Um, with the whole different worlds. Alright, we're gonna end it here. So before I end this video, I would like to encourage you to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. 
I do post multiple gaming videos daily, so be sure to check out my channel. Bye bye everyone, have a great day.